Check out that shine to it. It really brought back that emerald green. Gave it a nice shine. See how everything almost looks kind of blurry and dull in this side? That's that side. Alright guys, welcome back to the Uzulu Garage channel. And today we got an awesome video for you guys. This is a 1955 Cadillac. This is uh, going to be our next detail job right here. We're doing a full detail. We're doing paint correction, making sure the paint's all good, doing the interior, and we're going to see what we can do about the chrome. So check this out, guys. This is a real old car. This is definitely a classic. If you guys follow our channel, this is our kind of style. We love this stuff. So this is going to be the oldest car we've ever detailed. This also has single stage paint. You guys can tell it's not perfect, but we're going to get it as good as we can. So we're going to show you guys kind of the process of what we're doing to clean this up. Big car. Here's the inside. We're doing the interior also. Check that out, guys. This thing's a big boat. Look at that. That is sweet details on this thing. Check it out. Old school. So if you guys are new to the channel, definitely check if you guys like this kind of content, detailing and uh, just overall car content, definitely consider giving us a follow. And if you like this video, like it. We got a bunch of videos of us detailing all different types of cars, daily drivers, things like these classics and even, you know, some farm trucks that we got. So we'll definitely have those videos in the description. You guys can check those out after this one. So as we go through the video, guys, we're going to show you guys a product products we use as we go through the video instead of kind of showcasing it before we get into the detail yeah we're going to decon it clay bar it and we're not going to tackle every scratch we just want it shined up and get some protection on this old ride it's you can tell it's still got some rust we got some stuff we can put on there that would help stop that rust we'll put that on last and then we're just going to get it cleaned up and get some protection on there for him so he can enjoy the car through the summer and plus two, we're gonna be using some products you can get at the store. All right, we're gonna get going and get deconning this bad boy. Right, guys so we are not using a, a power washer on this car because we're not really familiar with these seals inside the windows you know all around the windows and all that we just don't want to soak the interior on accident by using a power washer we're pretty sure the seals are all right but we'd rather be safe than sorry so we're just using a regular old uh, hose so definitely always keep that in mind if you guys are detailing an older car especially something this old like this a 55 if it's not been fully restored, definitely you want to keep an eye on things like your seals and stuff like that. You know, make sure you don't soak the interior because that will just make more of a hassle. So, just figured we'd let you guys know. Alright guys, we're going to be using Turtle Wax Wheel and Tire Cleaner on these, on the wheels and on the hubcap. So, here, here we go. Some big white walls there. Yeah, he, Old these, school. These are brand new tires he said he put on there too, which is sweet. So, spray it on there. As you can see, we got all our different types of brushes to clean inside the rims and all that. So, start the rims out. I'll use a brush. Use this one. Like this. I like, to, I like to use a smaller brush for a second on the rims to get kind of into these hard to reach spots, especially with something like this, like a hubcap. You can do things like this. Get, get on all these circular kind of grooves. There's grooves inside of here, so I like to use something like this to get that. Or you can use that one. You can use this brush too, kind of help clean it up real quick, especially on the flatter surfaces. And then you can even kind of just clean this white right here. So you're definitely going to notice that if you don't clean that. And plus, too, when you're done with each tire, we like rinsing off our tools before we go to the other ones. You never want to bring extra dirt onto the other rim to minimize scratches. And then use this tire on brush. the actual tires. I like to wet the tires a little bit, kind of give it a little bit of extra wetness. Kind of hard to clean these tires with this uh, wheel well. There we go. And then we will rinse it off. We'll do the white well. 
You can also use this to get your white walls clean if you got white leather. Great brush to use. These are pretty cool. They're uh, clean and new, so we didn't have to really scrub them. They're brand new tires. Check that out, guys. Look how good the tires look. Look how good the hubcap came out. All within only a couple minutes of uh, getting out there and cleaning it up. All right, guys, now we are playing. There you go. Getting it all cleaned up before we polish. Well, after we clay it, we're going to wash it again and then start polishing for Turtle Wax. One and done. Their new product from their Pro Series. All right. We're getting our final wash dry it up and get ready for our polish getting this old caddy cleaned up it's gonna look good nice and clean I mean granted it's got some rust and patina but it's gonna look great heck yeah it's gonna like get a nice shine to it what do you think it's gonna come out good oh yeah considering the condition of the paint you can actually see in the paint, you'll probably be able to see it when we're done. It has a flake to it, but from it sitting for so long and having a lot of swirls, you really can't tell. So we're hoping to kind of bring some of that back maybe. Yes, this Cadillac sat outside. I can't, I don't know how many years it was sitting outside. I'm thinking around five years sitting outside. And the owner of this vehicle, he, he cleaned it pretty good getting it clean because it was, it was filthy. There was mold on it, all kinds of junk on it tree sap and all that it sat underneath a bunch of trees he was telling us so he gets it ain't going to be perfect he just wants us to see what we can do to bring it back a little bit he just wants some protection on it too get a shine on it and uh preserve that paint a little bit so we can enjoy it through the summer things a boat man look at that look at the lines on that that is sweet Adams polishes air cannon to blow out some of this air right here. So check this out, guys. Alright guys, we're using Hybrid Solutions Turtle Wax One and Done Compound. It corrects and finishes it, and on top of this we're going to be putting the wax that goes with this. So we actually have a video of us using this on another car, we're going to leave that video in the description, check it out, it came out great, and so we're going to try it out on this one. So you're going to prime your pad up a little bit. Check it out well. There we go. And what we do, we put some blue tape down. We're gonna polish the patch inside of the hood and we'll see the results. <clears throat> All right. All right, let's go. Put a little more on there. Yep. Get primed up. We are using the orange pad, which is about a medium cut. So we're gonna try right here first. We're gonna try it out, we might go to a a pad for a lighter cut, we're gonna try. All right. I think we're gonna see the this.
get some microfiber towels. These microfiber towels are from Shiny Detail. Like we said in the one video we did on this product, we love how easy it is to wipe on and off. That's why we really enjoy using it. And it gets great results. Now, we're only going for paint enhancement. We are not looking to try to get rid Check of defects. Check that out, guys. Dang. Check that out. You see the, hopefully you guys can see the difference. GoPro's hard to pick that up. You can really feel the difference. You can really see the difference. All right, we're going to finish half this hood, and we'll, we'll take the, the tape off, and, and we'll see the before and after, guys. All right, we'll get going. We're going to shine this up also. Hold on. Now this product, it's it drags a little bit taken off, but hey, it's pretty good. It's almost like a paste wax, a paste wax taken off, but it gives a great result. So look at that. It's almost like using 3D speed. But look at the results, man, that's awesome. Man, it's right. New product from Tudor Wax doing a great job on this 1955 Cadillac old paint. I don't know if there's any videos on using this product on an older. Uh, Car. Probably not like this. I don't think so. So, hopefully you guys will uh, like the results of the Turtle Wax product. And now, this is a sponsored video. We did receive these products free from Turtle Wax. We did not get paid to make this video, but we did get the products for free. So, that makes that a sponsored video. Alright, guys. Check it out. We just finished polishing about half the hood. Alright, we took the tape off. You guys can probably see which side we did we did this side right here check out that shine to it it really brought back that emerald green gave it a nice shine see how everything almost looks kind of blurry and dull in this side that's that side check that out guys awesome <coughs> Now granted, we're not going after every scratch like we said, but we are trying to get it to at least bring back good shine and get kind of some of that uh, contaminants that maybe were on the paint and some of the swirls that have been there. Check that out. Show the garage real quick. We're still working on it. So you guys a little bit of process. I know it has nothing to do with detailing this. Cadillac. But here it is when it's completely done i'll show you guys and then i'll show you where i got stuff to hang up your bottles and we plan on making some that you can hang your bottles up that'd be a future video guys Definitely got to get the garage done. Hope you guys can pick up the difference. That's done. Right here is the line that we haven't touched yet. Hope you guys can see that. Maybe I'll put it in the garage. All right, go ahead and knock that out. Came out good. Now I know we know this too with the single stage paint. We are using a lot of product. Uh, you have to. Yeah, we go we go more than um, we're using probably about four to five time size drops, and it's to uh, really uh, I don't know keep the paint kind of wet because it's dry. This thing has a good polish for years. And that's one reason why we're using more product. So it helps with the single stage paint. If you notice. Alright guys, so we just finished polishing using the one and done 
turtle wax. As you guys can see, I brought back a very good shine to the paint. Check that out. Clean that up, and then now we're going to be using the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Pro Graphene Infused to the Max Wax. So we're going to be putting that on. We'll show you guys how that's going to look. Bitch, we like I said, we have videos on these two products. If you guys want to check those videos out, and that and that kind of goes over how to use them and how to apply it, and you know all that type of stuff. Yeah, the, the Max Wax Wax is infused with graphene right here. It's supposed to give your paint some protection. We're not sure how long, but uh, I figure we could probably get a few months out of it. And then maybe a year if you maintain your uh, vehicle. And that's what's nice. This this has UV protection. So this would be great for this old paint. So basically, you know, just apply three times uh, size on your applicator. Two by two section, overlapping, and wipe off. Do section at a time. You can even do circles if you like. It's up to you. All right, guys, we're gonna get into it. All right, guys, now we are applying. All right now, we're gonna wait two to three minutes to remove it. Today's a little bit colder of a day, so we're not gonna, you know, have to worry about it being, you know, dried into the paint, but. And I'll leave it on there for a couple minutes and then wipe it off. Yeah, easy to use product. Works great. We're going to be busy on this long boat. It's going to take a while by hand. Oh, well, we're enjoying the process. That's what's fun about using products like this in a vehicle like this out here enjoying the day. All right, guys, we're going to show you guys the results here in a minute. All right, guys, we are taking it off right now. Oh yeah, it comes off pretty easy. Just keep flipping it. There we go. Look at that. Nice and shiny. Look at that, guys. That looks sweet. Man, it's bringing out this, uh, this Turtle Wax products are bringing out this old paint. That's for sure. It's making it look good. Shined it up cleaned it up granted we didn't go after every defect because man we're really cutting into it because you can see we still have primer the paint's not really that thick and we didn't want to cut too much but at least now we've got a nice layer of uh, protection on here for them because as you guys can see there's spots all over the car like this where we think it's the original paint maybe popping out and as you can see a lot of these chips right here you know, you kind of have to watch when polishing paint. We don't want to, you know, strip to, yeah, strip the paint down to, you know, a bunch of, you know, Nothing. different colors or you, you don't know what you're really getting yourself into on an old car like this. So Yeah, especially you're polishing in here, you don't want to burn the edges. No, yeah. And then you got your primer showing or original paint. You can see we just it. there was a spot somewhere. We just brought the whole it's like um, a light green. You can see it right there. Yeah, you can see it all throughout the car here, and and plus we we wanted to keep it where, you know, we wanted to bring back the shine from the paint, which you could see we did, and it brought back, you know, if you've seen this in person before, we polished. This didn't really have this like emerald green kind of color. It almost looked like a flat, uh, dark green almost. But after polishing. You know, you see, you, see, you see that nice flake in it. It brought back a good shine. It cleaned it up. But right here, someone painted you know, it blue. Yeah, right here, you got a weird blue spot. So, you know, we knew going into it, we weren't going to hammer the paint. But just using a quick polish on it brought back the shine. It got rid of a lot of those swirl marks, a lot of the small scratches, and just a bunch of contamination that's been sitting on the paint. And then now using the wax, as you can see, it's really bringing out a really nice shine in that green paint, which is awesome. Yeah, this thing's gonna look sweet.